Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota RAV4 SC. Now the most notable features on this SC is its power moonroof. You also have your navigation system and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota RAV4 SC. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SE is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And then if we take a closer look on front of the hood there, you'll see your hood deflector. Over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. And if we take a look on the inside of the mirrors here, you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now, with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now, this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your power driver seat with lumbar support with your black leather interior seat surfaces with your orange accent stitching. And then on the inside, you'll see that it's also accented on the dash as well. A couple of the controls you'll see include your mirror controls, lane departure alert, heated steering wheel on and off, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control scroll function. You have your Bluetooth mode select voice recognition scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So, if we take a look through the menu screen here, as you can see, you have an exterior temperature gauge, a distance to empty with an eco indicator, all-wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning. But you can also take a look at the navigation, audio, lane departure alert messages, and then your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, and a couple of other additional features. Now, taking a closer look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your hazard lights. Up in the corner here, you're going to see your traction control on and off, and then you also have those indicator lights as well. So, parents, if you're worried about your kids not buckling up their seatbelts, they won't be able, well, you'll know if they haven't buckled up their seatbelts because those indicator lights won't actually turn off until they've done so. Inside your apps menu, you have your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. You have the XM satellite radio, dual zone climate control settings. Underneath, you'll find your eco and sport mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. Window wiper de-icer, USB and auxiliary input, and your two power outlets. Now, it's matted to an automatic transmission. And if we take a look just at the top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And a couple of the controls you'll find up top here include your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located underneath your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. Now, I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. But as you can see, you have the cargo cover in the back here, so the nice thing with that. So if you want to cover up your valuables just so that people can't see what you have in the back there, it definitely comes in handy. You have a 60-40 split for your rear seat. At the very front there, you're going to see some of the floor storage space, and if we take a look just underneath the floor here, you'll see your spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. The other nice thing about this space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So if you're not using it, and you have some cargo that sits a little bit higher, you can just throw it underneath the floor rather than taking it out altogether. The other thing I like is that you do have the power adjustable tailgate, so with that, if you want to readjust the height for yourself, 
hold down the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the site for you. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the site for you. The nice thing with that power adjustable tailgate is, is if you're a little bit shorter, you can readjust for yourself, or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2017 Toyota RAV4 SC, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.